the biggest challenge is, is keeping up with the variety of beers we have. We have, we probably have 30 beers we've made in the past. We keep 12 to 14 on tap all the time, and keeping them fresh, but also keeping the variety and having the tanks to put all this stuff in. Seven barrels, 215 gallons, that is small uh, on a commercial scale. Uh, but it's surprising how quickly go, we go through all that beer. One batch, it could be two, three weeks for one batch, which is a lot, is, is fairly quick for us. Um, but when you have that many beers, the other challenge is to keep the really hobby beers fresh and, and lively. We source a lot of our, our malts from Germany and the UK. Uh, occasionally we get some Canadian malts, um, and we do do a domestic malt that's, that's uh, grown right here in Maine. Water is really huge. It's dependent on the style. Certain beers want soft water, certain beers want hard waters. Say an IPA wants a really hard water. Uh, traditionally, the, the IPAs that came from the UK, where, it was, where they originally started brewing them, uh, used what they called Burtonized Waters, which was classically really hard water, and that's a big part of that profile. So in order to make a, here, to make an IPA, because we have soft water, we have to harden the water pretty heavily. It gives you a, a, a certain hardness or bitterness in the, in the back of the mouth. Uh, you can taste it if you drink, a, a, say, a, one of our Kolsch beers, we use soft water, or just the, beer, the water that we get here uh, out of our main compared to, say, an IPA that we harden significantly, you can taste the difference in the beer. And that's probably the best comparison. When we go to cans, we're going to have to start picking and choosing our beers. We're going to have to cull out some of the slower moving beers and start making the beers that move fast and just, just to keep our sanity, because the production levels are gonna go way up. And it's going to be hard to make those obscure beers that stay around for a while. We are packaging it differently. In cans, there's a certain amount of carbonation that we have to adhere to, a higher level actually. And up until now, we've just been kegging. All we've had to do in the past is just keep a certain amount of carbonation, which is much lower than what we would have for cans. It's not a big step up for us. It's just going to be another transition, something else that we have to learn to do well.